Now, I must have asked one question. I mean, I've wanted to ask for a long time. That story, that famous story about how you started, is it true? Um, which is part, part of it? Mean, the which part? Because it's, I mean, I know about the soldiering part that you were mm -hmm. a soldier at one mm -hmm. time. And then mm -hmm. you, 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 act, you became a, a broadcaster, a journalist, and you were working with Guardian, mm -hmm. and decided you were going to do a sports newspaper. Mm -hmm. And you didn't have money. That's right. You had just come back from a trip to some Olympic game or something. That's right. That's the right. cameras you brought, you sold mm -hmm. them, and mm -hmm. you had 2,500 Naira or so. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you started the business on 2,500 Naira. Mm -hmm. That's right. But, you know, moving from getting it to doing it that's right you know i mean particularly when you have nothing you actually resigned you cut off your bridges oh yes and as, at that time she also noted i didn't have any savings at all no savings account nothing wasn't that suicidal um yes uh, yes and no i would say yes but then you see when you read think and grow rich uh, there are so many people who started from that point and the issue is if they can do it you also can do it and I think that was just it does this work in everyone because I mean we've had this argument with some friends of mine and they say you know all, all these books and you know Nigeria loves self-help books mm -hmm. that a lot of these models do not work in some of them quite a bit of them does not work beyond a point in our environment because we haven't taken care of some basic things i.e for example so you have a great idea look at complete football for example you have to distribute it around the country you have problems getting newspapers around nigeria you have problems with circulation blah blah blah, blah. I mean, is it true that it works in this environment and works from one level of enterprise to another until you build it, mega it, brands. Can it, we build mega works. Grand, it, brands? It works. It works at every level. Once you understand the principles at play, it is not just one principle, there are sets of principles. One is sticking with it. Now sticking with it will take care of all the issues that you are, you know, uh, highlighted. For example, there are challenges with distribution, with um, so many things, Good power, mm -hmm. you know, roads and so on and so forth. But the truth of the matter is if you do not stick with it, then you would never, never win. And that's one of the things I got from Think and Grow Rich. You say winners never quit and quitters never lose. So if, if you come to my office back then, it is written boldly there. When I hit my office, that's the first thing I said, winners don't quit. I've had many occasions that I wanted to give it up. But if I gave it up, I won't be here today. Right. And, and you see... Uh, people need to understand one thing. Uh, they always make it look as if it is easier in the U.S. It is easier in Europe. It is not. It is not. That's the lie of, the, of it. It is not. It is easier here. You know, I know that because you, you know, and because there's so much unbroken ground here. Exactly, the opportunities you know? are right. That's that, that's right. Right, but you, you know, know. Doc, doc I, there's this point that I read about in the story where you were almost bankrupt. Yeah. You know, so. This learning of lessons, were, were, uh, you didn't know some things at a particular time or what? What led to that situation and how did you recover from it? Okay. Um, you know, when you have an idea and you invest in it, you only know the beginning. You don't know the end. Sure. And uh, we talk about business plans. The business plan will tell you, you know, how to charge your course and all of that. But there are always, always something. I mean, I have been long in business enough to know now that despite everything that you have written in your business plan, something will happen mm -hmm. that you did not anticipate, mm -hmm. that you cannot even anticipate. And that is when you go into the kind of situation that we're you know, talking about. But then when it happens, again, you have to you know, hit another, uh, bring another principle into play, which is that now... If it is going to be okay, it is up to me. You don't give up. You see, that element of not giving up is an issue. But let me bring another element, which I, I dwell on in my latest book, hmm. which is what they don't teach you at Lagos Business School. Oh. <laughs> right. Now, the element is the God element. The God element. Because in my own business, in my own experience, I, I, I looked back and I saw so many instances where it was just the finger of God that kept me on and kept the business on. Mm -hmm. And so today I'm saying that, look, whatever you do, 
you have to bring you have to understand who god is and make sure that he is really part yes into whatever you are doing let me give you an example i was publishing in uk you know complete football international was you know uh, published by a company we own in uk and uh, because uh, foreign exchange you know went up went haywire and all of that we couldn't keep that uh, publication going but what really broke our ba uh, camera's back was uh, this year we had this um, uh, olympic games